Hello and welcome to a new week of Climbing Daily. Peter Naituli is a bit of a favourite of the Climbing Daily show and he's featured a few times. We caught up with him to have a chat about climbing a glacier that has been massively altered by climate change and how he sees the rise in temperature affecting the Kenyan climbing scene. My name is Peter Naituli. I'm 17 years old. I'm half Kenyan, half Norwegian. I like climbing. Uh, rock climbing, ice climbing, alpine climbing mostly. So in the months leading up to this past December, I had been thinking of doing a solo on Mount Kenya, another solo. And so in October, straight away, I went for six days. I did purely a solo trip and I slept under a boulder at some point and went up to a ridge. Not very technical, but just nice to be on my own on the massif. So I went down, but that was in preparation, sort of for this solo that I do this December. So December arrived and my plan was to go up this glacier called the Kraft Glacier, situated, situated just below the north face of Batian. It is, the last time I did it was in 2014. It wasn't that technical and it had a really good snow cover. A lot this year was really bad in terms of snow. And so the ice was really dirty and it was mostly really black ice in my original line. It looked fairly bleak and devoid of good ice. And my plan first would be to go straight up the snout of the glacier, then traverse beneath an overhanging headwall and then go straight up. And I had to change my mind before I started going up that way because if the sun were to hit the route in its current condition, there was a lot of rocks exposed. They hadn't been crusted in by the snow, so there would be a lot, a lot, a lot of rockfall. That whole area is really notorious for that. Climate change has played a huge role in shaping the glacier to be the way it is. Usually it's a nice, it's situated in a coombe, so it forms a nice bowl and it's not that steep, but because the sun rises in the east, it hits the ice on this side really hard, the side leaning on Batian. So that all melts towards one uh, rock buttress where it basically leans against because it's in shadow and that causes it to be really steep. And because of the lack of snowfall this year, the ice was really hard. It was proper hard ice. It didn't have any nice crusting on top of it. There was a lot of big exposed flakes just cemented into the ice just waiting to be hit by the sun so they can just fly down the glacier. Yeah, so climate change has really in general just affected the whole mountain, the whole range. It's the snowfall, though it might snow a lot, it tends to melt faster and this has led to a severe increase in rockfall and roots which usually do experience some rockfall but not as much as they do in current times there's less snow there is less ice slowly by slowly the glaciers are retreating and the mountain is just becoming a harder place when it comes to ice climbing almost no one does it anymore the classic ice routes no one does them anymore the ones leading to Bati and are completely out of condition so this glacier was the closest thing I could get to a satisfying technical climb. Thanks, Peter. Let us know if there's been any changes to the places you climb due to climate change by commenting below and starting a discussion. Thanks for watching. See you soon.